finally meet face to face. Gary Wagner of the Gold Forecast joins me now at the Silver and Gold Conference in San Francisco. Gary, finally, it's been how many years? Many, many years. Right? I feel yeah. like I'm finally meeting that pen pal that you wrote to, you know, for like 20 years. So it's, it's great to have you on the show. And great to meet you. Thanks so much. I Likewise. Tried to wear some Hawaiian flowers for in honor of your, of, you know, being here today. You're very, very Hawaiian esque today. Thank, you. Thank yes. you. So, Gary, what's the sentiment like for you? What do you make of this conference? Well, the conference is most interesting. Uh, one of the reasons that, that I came here is to get an idea of the other side of the coin. I'm so involved in technical analysis. Yes, yes. I wanted to see the people involved getting it out of the ground. So it's been fascinating. But in terms of the sentiment, the sentiment I think is the same between investors and, and the professionals here. And that is there's, there's this unique optimism, but at the same time, there is a real quality of uncertainty. And what I mean by the unique optimism yeah. is the way gold traded just during the election as the results came out, what, gold flew yeah. up about $50? Right. Yeah. And then, 80 at one point, yeah. And, yeah, and then at one point it just kind of turned the other way, and the same with equities. You had the Dow Jones Industrial Futures Average down 800 points midway through the evening session, and then it rebounded to close up tremendously. So there's some initial optimism, but the fact of the matter is we just don't know how this new president is going to act and react and what kind of economy and, and global environment we're right. going to live in. And I love how you said it, you know, we're speaking offline, you're saying, you know, I don't know which way, but we definitely are on the doorstep of something. Well, absolutely. I mean, in terms of where I think gold might go over the next month or two months, the key is is that I think it will either move extremely higher or extremely lower, but I don't think we're going to see a flat market next year. And so that, to me, is what's most exciting. Okay, that we're not going to be in this kind of no man's land. Do you, would you apply it the same? I know you don't really watch silver as much. Uh, but what could we expect? Oh, I've been watching. Silver has been unique. I mean, there's there's absolutely been something going on. We had a separation really between not so much the tandem quality of gold and silver, but the fact that gold was out, not so much outperforming gold, but the fact is we had days last week where gold went down and silver went up. Right. And that's unusual. It's not unusual for them to move in tandem, but to move at different levels. And silver will typically have a greater percentage gain on up days, a greater percentage loss on down days. So what are we seeing on the gold-silver ratio? Is it, is it? Well, I, I see silver getting stronger than gold, so I see, I, see, I see it tightening. Wow, okay, good good thoughts. Well, Gary Wagner, thanks so much for joining us here on the road in San Francisco. Absolutely. Great to meet you. Likewise. And I hope uh, we do this more often. And thank you for watching uh, our coverage here from the Silver and Gold Conference in San Fran. We'll have more for you on Kiko.com. Thanks for watching.